Good Monday afternoon, everybody. Hope you all had a great weekend. I'm Julian the Hooligan, and just wanted to say welcome to the fourth episode of the Comic Coffin Comics Shopping Network. Got a lot of really cool stuff, a lot of bling this week, and we also got some really cool announcements to make halfway through the show, so stick around. Very cool stuff. We're very excited. Also let you guys know, 11 more days left on our Kickstarter, but right now, let's get the day going good. <laughs> First up, today's theme, hollow foils and premium foils. Any of you guys used to collect in the 90s? No, hollow foils and little text that had all the nice foil inlays, pop-ups, 3D. Well, this is what we like to do. We like to bring that crazy, collectible, fancy schmancy bling to you guys. This is uh, Hell Witch Hellbound Hollow Foil Edition. This was a Kickstarter book. We only made 325 of this back in the day. They're $40, and the art's by Jamie Tyndall. Look at that, beautiful. Look at just how the light hits it. It's just like, ah, so gorgeous. And this is one of the cool things I love about being here at Coffin. We come up with some really groovy color covers and colors, um, but just I just love how it shines. It's a lure, like when you go fishing. Yeah, it's there to hook <laughs> yeah, you in. Sure. It totally hooks you in. Fun fact: this here, this image here is the the Hell Witch logo back there, and it's based off. I think Brian says it's based off of the. Uh, I don't know, some, I don't know if it's the devil or like satanic church or something like that, but... Uh, yeah, I have seen that symbol before, and I was I thought it was really neat. My wife's a big occult person, so I'm sure she could give a shout out and say what it is <laughs> if you're watching, honey. So this is just one of the many things we're offering. Oh, yeah, look at all these. Oh, oh how many do we have here all together? I think I have about 24, 27 books, so I, I really went crazy. Next. So once again, folks need to go into the link... That is in the description. And then you can do all your shopping, shopping there. Right there. You're more welcome to give your shout outs if you're watching so we can give a shout out to you and uh, introduce yourself to everyone. Up next, another pretty one I got here. This one's $50. We only made 77 copies of this one. This is the La Muerta Assassin. And this is again, Jamie Tyndall. This was another Kickstarter book. Gorgeous. It has a very cool, like, James Bond kind of feel yes, to it. Yes, yes, yes. I yes. love the silencer on the gun. You got all the targets. Just so beautiful. So here's a question. Are these also hollow file on the back or just the front? Uh, back too. Front and back. Check it out. Oh, rainbows. You want yes. to buy our books. <laughs> it's very hypnotic, yes. And again, yeah. it's just like a fishing lure. These things are really eye-catching. And yeah. a lot of this stock goes really fast. I think there's, uh, I wanted to do one of the editions for Blasphemy Anthem, and we were sold out. I had none to show for the show. Mm. So they are very popular books, and they're just beautiful. Ooh. And we only made 77 of this, not many left in stock. Yeah, so I do again, notice. Yeah, I do notice. You are correct about it being a lure, because like at the cons... People, People go right to them. Yeah, yeah, they really, Sorry, they King really, Skull. uh... Respect King Skull! No! <laughs> no, please don't hurt me! Okay, here's the next one I have. This is done by Ali Garza. For $45. Boom. Oh, yeah. This is the La Muerta Ascension. This is the newest chapter in the uh, La Muerta series that we publish here. This is chapter 5. If I am uh, correct. <clears throat> Do you think the people actually read these holofoils? Or are they just, uh... You know... I, I know there is people that, that do them because there's some people that uh, will get multiple copies. They get a reader copy and then a fancy copy. Um, but with the uh, limited on these, I don't know why you'd want to read them. I mean, why <laughs> would you want to crease that beauty right there? Yeah, I just slabbed that. Yeah. yeah. this is We only made 150 of this one. And this is another Kickstarter book. And this is the type of stuff you'll find in our Kickstarters. Just really cool, groovy, limited edition, hollow foils. Uh, metal covers, jeweled covers, which I'll be covering in a later episode. But we really like to take collecting to a whole nother level. And that's what we're all about. Taking the books, taking collecting into the stratosphere. Hey, we got Ace. Blasting off. We got Ace saying, hey, guys. And we got Phil uh, hey, watching. And, uh... Hey, Phil. How's everyone doing today? Did you guys have a good weekend? 
Come on, you know you did. <laughs> of course they did. They said, <laughs> they said we, we have a hangover. We're recovering. We're watching All the right. show. All right, that's what I want to hear, hangovers. I need to work on one myself this coming weekend. Next up, I have by Sora Song. This one we did 350 of. And this, boom. This is the Lady Death Apocalyptic Abyss. Oh, yeah, this one's Hollow very, foil. very popular. I'm surprised we have... We still have um, quite a few left. This was the, if I recall correctly, oh, the first time we tried it. Yeah. I think this is our first hollow foil we tried to produce. Look at that. Gorgeous piece. Very Wiccan. I love the headdress and the flowers. Um, this is something um, I would love to see uh, if someone ordered it and went to like Sworn Fest coming up and have it jeweled. I mean, this thing oh, would yeah. be so gorgeous jeweled. Like right around in here, right around the, the top of her. Uh, also, she's got a great, great spot top, for uh, yeah. remarks as well, mm -hmm. right there. Yeah, lots of good spacing to get remarks done or whatever you want. Or just, again, get it slabbed, hang it on your wall, put it in your CGC box so nothing happens to it. Look at that. And these are really gorgeous. I, I miss that a lot of the other publishers don't do cool stuff like that. It was so crazy in the 90s because that was... All the rage, just doing crazy covers, 3D hologram covers, where the holograms didn't really work that great, but they were still really cool. So, going to your question, Ace is saying uh, this weekend's going to be better than mm -hmm. last. So he's a, the eternal optimist, right there. <laughs> oh, all right, I like this guy. We got to have a drink sometime. All right, next up, this oh, one yeah. is for our another homage we've done, and this is for May the fourth. Um, this is our little. Homage to Star Wars. Uh, we do one about every year. The this, homage, what I like about the, sorry to interrupt yeah. you. I love that Brian adds all the, the extra stuff in here, the grandest the space horror film. Yes. Yeah, that, those are fun to see, like what he comes up with. with the, and uh, it's the great. Traditional text, yeah. I, I love this stuff. This one's only $25. It's a 24 pager. Covers by Stephen Butler and Dan Feldmeyer. Mm -hmm. And this is, if you're a Star Wars fan, I literally have three left, and that's it. So once this is gone, that's it. Boom. Bye bye, Daddy. Gorgeous, but I like that we. It looks just like the original Star Wars comic from the seventies. Yeah, Stephen Butler is uh, yeah. amazing. At His doing stuff, this stuff is really fun to look at. Yeah, look at that little. And I like how it shines because I like how the black background goes with everything. It just really makes the text pop and the characters pop on it. Just a beautiful piece. Yeah, Terry's a fan of that. Oh, and Ace is saying he's bringing up the Coffin Online Con. Oh! So he can't wait for that. Oh, dude. that's going to be fun. Dude, <laughs> I know. It's going to be crazy. We have a madhouse here. At the... it, yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun here at HQ, and we're inviting all So how much is that one again? The, uh, 25. 20. Just, that's it? 25? That's it. Click on the link. Get it. This is uh, literally, the, we have three left. Yep. That's it. Go to that link, jump, uh, and grab it. Grab it before it's gone. Next... This one's beautiful. This is Mike Diodato Jr., mm -hmm. the heartbreaker. Oh, yeah. I think it's beautiful. We only made 99 of this thing. Gorgeous. This is a really good image that he's done for us. I like how she's got the power coming off her hands. She's, she's ready to kick some ass. She's beautiful but deadly. Don't mess with this woman. She'll take you out with the trash. <laughs> Look at that. Boom. Gorgeous. And this one's 50. I do have a, a few more of these left, but again, just gorgeous. I think we even did a metal edition of, of, of this image too a while back. It's just beautiful. I believe so, yeah. It's a, the image that just keeps on giving. It's yeah. very good. Yeah, I mean, this just ah, pops, pops. And this is, um, see what edition is? This is also one of our pinup books. So we do pinup books that are flashy and just. Gorgeous. Something you just want to lay out on your table for people to gawk at and be like, oh my God, that's gorgeous. I mean. Yeah. <sighs> oh, Ace is saying we'll definitely have a drink sooner than later. So hopefully at Sworn Fest 2021, Ace. All right. Us, yeah. I, I better uh, get my, uh, my, uh, myself all practice up on that. <laughs> you don't I, I drink sure much, I right? Coins. I don't drink that often, <laughs> so I'm kind of a lightweight these days. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> It, I, I plan to uh, partake quite a bit this year, more than I did at Fiend Fest. All right, this one is another cool homage. Ready? Daughter Satanus. 
This one, Daughter of Satanus. we also only made 77 copies. And this is again Stephen Butler, Dan Feldmeyer. It's 25 bucks. Um, <clears throat> that's another one that um, I probably only have six left of this on the store. So once those six are gone, that's it. Game over. Game over, folks. Once yeah, that's done. done. Little creature guys on there. Mm -hmm. Little green demons. And, and again, right? it's 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 just like you know, like the original. Son of Satan. Yeah, just yes. like the original. Uh, Stephen Butler just kills it every time he does these. It's just you line right next to each other, put them back to back. It's just like every little detail is there, just matching it. But he, yeah, just adds that little extra. Um, well, obviously he changes it to the Lady Death. But look at that, bam! Yeah. Lady Death is. And I'd love to see if anyone has one of these hollow foils or one of any of our homages along with the original. Please send them my way. I'd love to take a look at some of your guys' collection. Oh, for sure. I've packed so many orders for some of you folks. I'm just like, wow, I wonder what their collection looks like. I mean, great homage to classic Marvel right there. And again, there's 77 were produced. Just got so much shine, so much character in this book. I really love the homages. Homages, medals, metal jewels, jewels. Those are some of my favorites that we produce. And we're always coming up with something new. I think the next Kickstarter, we've got another original kind of cover we'll be uh, doing for everyone. This one's by Paul Green. This is another Kickstarter Ooh. book. Boom. Oh, yeah. Nightmare Symphony. Numero uno. We made 400 of this. This is also another real popular, popular hollow foil. You know what? I always thought that was a spine, but that's I say that those are skulls. Yeah. On the, uh... Yeah. You know what? I'm glad you pointed that because I thought that when I first started working here and packing those, it's like, what are those? Is that a spinal cord? And then you look, it's like, oh no, they're little skulls. Little skulls. It's a gorgeous piece. Again, look at that. I'm luring you in. You can just tell the, the artists love doing the uh, drawing Lady Death because they really get into it. Yeah, look at the, de I mean, the detailing they get on the, just on the staff. I mean, even up in here, it's just a really gorgeous piece. I mean, we're, we're really lucky to get the artists we have here at Coffin Comics to produce some of this beautiful work for you guys. I mean, Brian's always on the lookout for new talent. Yeah, what's, whoa, let's see, that's limited to 400. 400, yeah. yeah. And this is a 48-pager. This is a nice thick book. And again, we definitely do the back covers. Oh, God. Yeah, look at those bats that. in yeah. the moon. That's just gorgeous piece. Again, this is stuff, as I tell people when I sell them these, these are really great, but they do come with a warning. Do not look at them in direct sunlight. You will go blind. I kid you not. I've had it happen to me at shows I did outside, showing someone these covers. Look at this. Ah! Just spots for hours. But it's a beautiful piece. Just really beautiful stuff. I really yeah. love these. And this is another Kickstarter book. They say, back our Kickstarters. We offer some really cool additions, such as the hollow foils, metal covers, as I mentioned before. Even the uh, metal jewels, the jeweled editions are really nice. I just really love that stuff. I'm gonna step around over here. Look at that, wow, I really like how that looks. It's olive oil, <laughs> gorgeous. Oh, Ace just bought a Star Wars cover. Thank you, Ace. That's Thank awesome. you, Ace, I appreciate good it. Good call, good call. Okay, here's another Kickstarter. This one, Don Tate. Ooh, the infamous Sh Don Tate. Oh, yeah. That is gorgeous. She's got the horns and she is sworn. Her style just like fits, uh, I don't know, Lady Death so perfectly. Where she's got mm -hmm. like the swagger. She's got her. the swagger. She's got the 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 very soft beauty to it. But mm -hmm. she also has this toughness that she really does in the face. That I'm like, wow, it's it's beautiful and hard. Like, yeah, she's a stunner, but she'll give you a stunner too if you step <laughs> out of line. And this one's fifty dollars, and this is from um, the Kickstarter Scorched Earth. I also like, on the back covers, I like that we put just a nice description. This is what the original soft cover for this edition looked like. And then we put the text, you know, kind of giving you a rundown of the story. Um, I sold one of these slabbed uh, recently on our eBay store. Um, so someone was very happy and it was a signed edition, Brian signed. 
But again, beautiful piece. I can't wait to meet Dawn Tick. I see a lot of her work come in. I've sold a lot of her stuff at shows. Um, but I never got to meet her. There's very little of the artists I've met, so I'm looking forward to Sworn Fest, because at Fiend Fest, I got to meet folks like Yo-Yo, Dan Mendoza, yeah. Monty Moore, you name it. Dawn, I, I bumped into Dawn just for a little bit right at the end of Tucson Comic Con, like mm -hmm. two years ago. Uh, yeah, the, the sweetest lady uh, you've ever, ever meet, like, you know, Classic, uh, you know, she actually even dresses a little bit like the, the little extras that she puts. Oh, really? On, on, uh, the little chotskis? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, she's totally into it. So. I really like the bracelet she did here, too. I mean, I just really like just the detailing she did on that. It's a beautiful yeah, piece. I like a, how the hair is just flowing off. She's got a breeze going. Yeah, you can tell why she has a huge fan base, for sure. Yeah, it's, yeah. there's a lot of people style. love her stuff. She's got a style. She's got an eye. It's beautiful. Then, next to lure you in, ha, 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 we have another homage, the jaunt into, into darkness. darkness. <laughs> and this is a homage of the journey into darkness, um, her store appearance. The lure, yeah. Stephen Butler and Dan Feldmeyer again. This one is only $25, and I have st uh, we made 60 copies yeah, of this. Yeah, that is a 60. Um, really low print run. Um, I believe we have maybe about 10 left, and that's it. 25 bucks. It's a really great deal. And that approved Just, by the coffin code authority. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, and we have stickers like this, guys. While you're clicking on the link to pick up the things, shop around. We have stickers. We have mini prints, uh, 11 by 17s. We even have fine art prints with folks like Frank Cho and um, <clears throat> with some other ones. I just Adam Hughes. Adam um, Hughes. Um, yes. Matthew Moore. Just really gorgeous piece, and it's really quality paper. It's something you want to frame. I mean, we have lots of really beautiful editions, graphic novels. You name it, we probably have it. Buttons, pencils, pens. We have crazy <laughs> stuff we sell. But yeah, again, another great piece. Only 60 made. Yep, so yep. just jump in that Jump uh, in that link. Go hit that link and go to the right to the store in that section. Yeah, 66. That's Limited gorgeous. 66. Also, guys, Brian will sign these books for you, too. Just for free. For free. That's right. For free. That's the F word. <laughs> the four-letter F word. You all like, free. Free. I mean, that's, that's pretty legit. And I've yep. seen Brian sign table upon <laughs> table upon table. And he'll take pictures of it, too. It's, that's no lie. That's sometimes just those little tales. That's just it. And they keep going and going. We have them that go down the hallways, all over in the warehouse. I mean, the man is a signing machine. I mean, props to him. He he does it because, you know, if it wasn't for yeah. you guys, we wouldn't be in business. And that's how much he appreciate. He works. He's a hard. man of the people for sure. Man he of the people, like definitely. Check it out. Twenty five dollars on this one. Go around this way. Just I'll knock over my display, but not because I am a bit yeah. of a klutz. Don't do not do that. No. Ace oh, is no. asking about shirts. Unfortunately, we don't have any shirts up uh, as of yet. I think, uh, I don't know if you've seen any shirts that we'd be adding at some point. I've More seen, I only shirts. have like a few onesie, twosie size. You know what? Um, if you want, send a, a message to inquiries at coffincomics.com, and maybe we can see if, the, um, you know, let us know what size you're looking for, and maybe we'll see if we have something. Uh, here, somewhere tucked away. I mean, we have so much yeah. stuff. As of right now, nothing's on the store, but maybe we can... Maybe we can dig around. Maybe I'll show you the shirt off my back. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, this is one of our books for the direct market. This is the Hell Witch, Hellborn, oh, yeah, with the, uh... number one. And this is our premium foils. We're embossed, like, the armor, her piercings, the text... Her gauntlets, just beautiful. Oh, Matthew Davis saying, what's up, guys? Hey, up, Matthew? Matthew. How was your weekend, man? I hope you had a good weekend. Things are falling behind Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's got a poltergeist with him today. And you know what? I remember, I remember this one. We had this, I think it was San Diego. I'm not mm -hmm. sure which con, but some gal, she was, um, she bought this, never even heard of Hell Witch or Coffin, but she was just attracted to those. Uh, the gauntlets and the... Um, I like the studs on the bra, too. <laughs> uh, just those enhancements. It's just really cool to see the enhancements that... 
how it attracts people because it's yeah. like you don't you don't see that uh, all the time nowadays. No, sure. no, this is definitely that's one thing um, that Brian and we do here at Coffee. We like to bring back this the really cool variant covers. I mean, everyone does variants, but. You know, we make it so there's stuff for the direct market. There's stuff for the collector's market. I mean, this is really cool stuff. It's only 25. Uh, Ed Bennis is the artist. And this is the first chapter of Hellwitch, whose uh, Kickstarter we uh, wrapped up and uh, getting everything compiled to get shipped out for everyone. But again, $25. You have plenty in stock. But some of these mm -hmm. editions, too, once they go out to the direct market, they'll fly out really fast. Sometimes um, the diamond accounts will almost clear out all our orders, and we have very few to offer because they're very hot and very popular. Next up I have for everyone today. Ooh. Yeah, we, uh, uh, speaking of the, the comic market, comic shop stuff, we've actually had to cancel orders to uh, Diamond because the, the stuff is sold out. So yeah, it's just it like so fast. It's really popular. It's like, I was blown away. I was like, we just got them and they're already <laughs> sold out. Like sometime within a week or two weeks, it's like zip. Yeah, so we can't do Diamond reor reorders. So get it now when you, uh, at your local comic shop, if they see it, pick it up. Because... Get it direct from us here at Coffin Comics yep. too. Click on that link and shop. Everything you see here, we have up there for you to pick, click and buy, and then see what else we have too. This one, we're doing a special for you. $10. This is chapter two of La Muerta, cover art by Jamie Tindall. And this is another direct market book. This is Lats Rights number one. It's a 48 pager. And this one I just love, the bats. Here's my girl. I <laughs> love this book. Yeah, this is neat. It's like almost a double action stance, which mm -hmm. is, uh, oh, you know what? That, oh, it's different. Okay, I, we're discovering this together. I thought it was she had the same uh, face paint, but it's different. No, it's all those. different so face paint. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's like two separate um, scenes that combined into one. That's very gorgeous. cool. And I love the silencers. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think of the. You love the silence, death, don't you? <laughs> hey, you don't know where it's coming from. Look at this. And one thing I like, too, um, being here is I like how in our editions, how our logo has changed, too, on the covers. Just oh, yeah. You get to see the evolution, evolution of our books and of our logo. And that's one thing I, I like about presenting yourself because some of the stuff i never seen. I just go around looking because we have so many cool books. Um, <laughs> you just can't see them all. And we get new stuff in all the time. So we're always getting this fancy, flashy, bling stuff that I'm showing you today. And this one's only $10, guys. This is special today. 10 bucks. Normally, this is $25. We're doing $10. You want? Buy a copy for your friend at that price. Look, you can buy multiple. Look at that. <laughs> Good, great for gifts. Look at that. Yeah. And this is Chapter 2 of the La Muerta series. And this also is another direct market book. Speaking of the coffin logo, this, here's the updated one. Yeah, the, there you the go. The newest version of King Skull. Uh, right there, and also in the real life, right there, King Skull. Visit him live at the Sworn Fest 2021. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. I can't wait for that. All right. Next up. Another direct market. This is the pinup book for La Muerta. Oh, yeah. This is a good seller, too, for sure. Yeah, this has got really beautiful art. This is Matt Murhoff. It's $25. Let's see what kind of art you're going to get in here. Beautiful piece. Yeah. The one thing I like about this one is the crucifixes and the chain right there have the foil inlets. I love mm -hmm. that. Yeah, and the edges. The, the edges, edges right yeah. Gorgeous. This one this one really shines at uh, conventions for sure. People, uh, especially in Tucson and Phoenix, they uh, really attracted to this cover on there for sure. Oh, just... I'll never forget the first time Brian started showing me this these cover arts. I'm like, dude, this is gorgeous stuff. I remember we did an action figure for her and it sold out really fast. I've had people I knew personally when they found out I was a star worker, he's like, oh, can you get me the La Muerta figure? I was like, I'll ask. And Brian's like, yeah, those, those are way gone, man. But yeah, beautiful pieces. It's all different pinup art of La Muerta. It's La Muerta and Mama Z. And Mama Z. So though you can tell it's uh, Mama Z if it's the more risque. Risque uh, images. Images, yeah, yeah. So uh, La Muerta is more of a wholesome... Uh, 
character, and Mama Z is the one that. Uh, yeah, here's the one loose. cover without the inlets. Look at that, just beautiful. And that and was, Jesse uh, Witchman, that yeah, was Mama Z right there. Yeah, is that a Aztec? It's one of the Aztec yeah. ones. Yeah. yeah, beautiful stuff. Oh, and no. look at that. I love that logo. Again, this is only twenty five dollars. This is a pinup book. And this is the type of stuff that, um, if your stores order Coffin Comics, this is the type of stuff they can get from us. So, always hit up your local shop. Get them to order our books and carry them on their shelves. We, we love to see our books on shop shelves across the country. I'm tired of it. Across the world. <laughs> I'd like to see our books in Japan. I'd like to see our books in Germany. Just, ah. Oh, Speaking of it. Japan, Joel Gomez, the interior artist... A series artist for La Morta. He was he did a a, um, a con in Japan, and he was bringing oh, La Morta to uh, to the folks out there. Ah, uh, what a lucky man! That's one one country I would love to go to ever since I was a kid. Oh, for sure. Hey, did giant it. monsters roam around everywhere. <laughs> so they say. All right. Oh, it's another beautiful piece. It's another sort of song. It's twenty five dollars. Boom. Muerta Retribution. This we went crazy with on the foils. And there was also one for Descent, the chapter one of La Muerta. We're sold out. I tried to find a, a copy anywhere, and oh, yeah. I couldn't Number find it gone. anywhere. I, I saw it online. I'm like, oh, my God. Do you we pull, still have this? you pull that one out? Because yeah. it's uh, getting a lot of glare on there. There, there we go. We can really see that. Ooh. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Santa Muerta. Nope, oh, and look, logos changed again on this one. Oh yeah, this one yeah. had the uh, the Day of the Dead makeup on it. Very cool. I like we even do the signatures in foil. I mean, that's just crazy. I mean, usually on most foils uh, that you'll see, it'll be either just a logo or maybe something in the background. That's true. But we yeah. go all crazy. I mean, the signatures we make the signatures in foil. <laughs> Check Look that at that! Back. Wow. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, it's branded for uh, the Morta on the uh, on the back. The sugar skull on there. And the Hell Witch has her own brand too. But yeah, this is twenty five. Beautiful piece. It's the kind of stuff that just shows that Brian just loves comics. He loves the little details, and he loves He's the tough. collectability of the comics. Yes, I mean, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Brian gets uh, a few copies of everything for himself for his own personal collection, and I've only seen. A little taste of what we call, I like to call the Brian Room, because <laughs> it's just got wall to wall books. And one of these days, I get to go through and catalog it. I know it sounds crazy, but I love <laughs> cataloging comic books and putting them in order. To me, that's the whole fun of collecting is cataloging it, putting it in new bags and boards, because every so often you, you want to change it out. They start to look a little mm -hmm. faded and a little scratched. And here in Arizona, you have that fine sand and dust, and it just gets into everything and scratches up your plastic, so you got to replace it, and it makes it pop again. Just, oof, gorgeous stuff. And you discover what you have. Like, oh, yeah, my God, I like, had that. It's weird. I bought <laughs> it's great collections to go through. <laughs> uh, when I worked at shops, and it's like I take their books out of their old bags and boards and put on a new one, and it's like, wow, that thing really pops now. Again, this is our premium foil cover. This is the hollow foil premium foil show. Yeah, this is covered by Sar Song. So you go to that link right now in the description, wherever it's at, click on that, and th that'll be live for two weeks two or weeks. until they sell out. Yeah, because hey, we've had some things sell out. Um, there was actually an edition I was gonna put on today's show. Um, we only had a few copies left. I go to get the stock and I'm like looking, and I was like, oh, I'm doing this person up. This, it, we're sold out. <laughs> Had to pull all the copies off the show because they were gone. So we only had like four left. So Terry's asking about the link. So one of the prices, I guess we might have a price differently than what we said. So whatever the price is on the store, that's the accurate price. So if we uh, misquote here, if it's lower on the store, awesome. Just take it and buy Dude's it. Just go to Yankee. <laughs> take advantage. All right. Well, well you know what? One. Before we do that, you want to take a little station break? We're at the halfway point. Now for news. All right, so everyone heard um, ECCC got canceled. We will Emerald not be City. Emerald City is gone. Got a little postponed. Postponed to the summer. So 
we were going to have a booth there. We had some really great exclusives. So Brian and his genius decide, you know what? Let's do a live con this weekend. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, maybe Sunday if we're not hung over. <laughs> From 10 to 5 on each of those days, we are going to be having guests such as Brian Polito, Mike DeBalfo, Monty Moore, Mike McLean, Marat Michaels, Economics and Comics will be here, and Clan McLeod will be here too, just to name a few. And they're going to be doing panels. Um, we're going to be selling all the exclusives we were going to have at that show. We'll be there for you guys to buy live. We're going to have the prints. We have the stuff we pulled from the vaults. Basically, we're turning something that was a lemon into lemonade. And we are doing the show. We're continuing what we were going to do in Seattle here live with you guys. Definitely recommend checking so it out. So we're going to do it on our Facebook page. We're going to do it here on the Comic Book Shopping Network. Uh, if we can get uh, when that, get that locked down. We're going to do it on uh, YouTube. We're going to do it on Instagram. So basically, sign up for the mailing list. There's a link in the description. Sign up. You'll get the daily schedule. See where we're at. See where you're at. And you can join the fun. We're going to have prizes and raffles. We're gonna, it's just basically an online convention. And the way that Brian Polito... Was going to do it. Can, can and do knowing it. that, one thing I, I liked about this is I haven't been to Seattle. I lived in the Portland area, and I never got to make it that far up north. So I was a little bummed. There was even some friends I was hoping to meet up there. Um, but we're not going to make it um, because of the – everyone knows the situation going on in the news. But we're doing it here. We decided, hey, let's just – we've got all this stuff. We've got the props. Let's just – we've got the space. We're just going to set it all up out there for all of you guys and it's just going to be a fun event. Yeah. And not only that, you could... Because the show must the go on. The show must gonna... go on. I mean, we've got a bunch of cool uh, exclusives for that show that we had to do something. So we're, we're, we're making an event. We're doing a Coffin Comics Con here live. Click, uh, go to our webpage and definitely follow links. You get all the times posted, all the guests. Um, we even have sneak peeks of some of the homages we're doing. Yeah, so, if you sign up for that mailing list, you'll get, yeah, get, get the mailing that. list. It'll fill you up to date on everything we do. So in the description, there's a link there for that. You can go to Lady F, uh, Lady F Universe is the best place to sign up. You know, uh, side note, Terry is asking about, I guess, the price uh, discrepancy. Terry, go to uh, shoot an email to Sean, Psycho Sean at Inquiries at Coffin Comics, and uh, he can help you out with that um, pricing issue right there. We'll take care of it for you. Um, other things, we're going to be doing contests. Um, pro, uh, raffle prizes. Uh, there's going to be panels, different panels throughout the weekend. Yeah, I believe Mike <clears throat> McLean, uh, the writer of, co-writer of Lady Death, uh, co-writer of La Marta, and co-writer of Hell Witch. He's going to have a, a session like talking about uh, how to write comics, and you can ask questions, and you can um, you know get all your any answers that you ever wanted answered about these stories about like creation, what it's like working with Brian Polito. So jump on that. Make sure to get on that that mailing list and uh, join us because it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, we we make a lot. Of, Jimmy puts out the mail list, so he really takes a lot of time each week to get that out, get all the information out, and then he'll do his quick little videos for the Kickstarters, like he did earlier today. And guys, check this out. We're we're really gonna make this a really great event. I yeah. mean, we're turning it around within just a few, like <laughs> less than a week. That's the beauty of Brian Polito. He knows how to pivot. He's he like, knows how to pivot. Pivot. Yeah, because I was just like, oh, we're not going to like, the next day, he's like, okay, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to do this. We're going to do A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. The and man, we're just going to keep going. The man of action, it's, for sure. It's a lot of fun. Also, um, on our Kickstarter, um, right now with the Hell Witch, the Forsaken, everything's getting prepped to get pulled. So the stuff will start getting shipped out really soon here. It's crazy. Brian was at there Friday just signing away. I think he's signing more editions today, The hopefully the last of the last. The man needs a break, but he never stops. He just keeps going and going when it comes to signing. I'm like, Shh. those pet markers do not last long at all. <laughs> um, Sworn Fest tickets, they are still on sale for February 2021. Come on out. Beautiful Mesa, Arizona. We'll probably have beautiful weather. Hopefully it won't be like the Fiend Fest or it was really oh, cold and rainy, but everyone had fun. Oh, People were just even having more a blast. Fun. Whatever, whatever weather it is, it's going to be 
uh, amazing inside because it's indoors at the uh, convention, convention center. center. Yeah. So that link is also in the description here, and you can sign up for the mailing list. You get that. But yeah, or to go to coffeecomicsnet slash Swarmfest, you can get get to the landing page. We'll uh, try to sell you on that and hype you up for it. But we can pass only forty something dollars. I forget the exact amount, but super cheap That's for everything cheap you get. It's just weekend. amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, and we really had a lot of fun. Oh, uh, Miguel, Miguel's here. Miguel. Fiend Fest was a blast, he says. Hell yeah. yeah. Like, that ain't nothing. Fiend Fest ain't nothing compared to Swarm, Swarm Fest. Fest. Oh, man. We're going to make it bigger. We're going to make more tickets available. So it's just going to be, you got to come. Yep. It's a big community and everyone has a blast. Bring your challenge coins. That was the first thing they taught me because it was the first <laughs> show I ever did for Comic Con. I was like, do you have a coin? No. You're going to need a coin. <laughs> Thank God I had a coin because I would have been buying a lot, a lot of drinks. And the last thing um, on our eBay store... I have loaded up almost a hundred yes. items onto the eBay store. I have loaded it up. Um, there is some bidding stuff, but there's a ton of buy now stuff. I got stuff from Chaos. I got early coffin stuff. Whatever I can find, whatever unique things I can get, I'm throwing it on eBay. Lots of cool stuff to check Julian out. the Hooligan is a madman Thank on you. eBay. He's just rocking it I, out, folks. It's fun. I, I love finding, everyone knows when I find something new, I get really excited because it's oh, yeah. something new. Or old that I get to show to you guys, and there's some stuff I haven't seen in years. The hooligans digging deep in the I recesses of the. Uh, Give me the, a shovel. <laughs> I'm digging it. I'm digging He's it. Finding baby. some stuff. Oh, you know what? We just we just glanced at it real quick, but the Kickstarter is going on right now. Lady Death, malevolent decimation. Not to say decimation. Decimation. <laughs> so there's a link in the description below. Jump on that. Only 11 days left. For twenty six dollars, you can get that that premium, uh, no premiere base book. Uh, that comes with like a ten percent. It's going to be black and white, so it's a hyper limited. You can win that. There's like so many goodies, twenty something plus. Twenty two, um, I think items were putting in the freebies. Yeah, twenty two unlock stretch goal goodies. There's the uh, also get a chance to win the uh, violet medal. Swarm the, Fest tickets are randomly going to be thrown in in the Kickstarter too. Maybe I don't well, know. We'll, we'll have see. To see. They have in the past. We'll see. Will they come again? We don't know. But you can also get the Black Metal Edition, a chance to win that, and also the Legend Metal Edition. But that's that's uh, in the link. Go check it out. See everything that's in there. It's amazing. But we should uh, move on with the show. We got, lots we got going more. On. Got more. Got more. Lots to tell you. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Next up, Apocalyptic Abyss number one. Oh yeah. Some really beautiful piece. This is Elias Chatsudas. This is 25. This is also a direct market for the comic book market. Could you pull that one out of there? Oh, yeah. That was, I gotta, I gotta get a close up on these skulls. This one, Brian actually made into a banner, one of those, uh, like, you know, yeah. banners. So this, it's so cool to see it in the actual comic book form. I like the little studded em embossment. And look at this. I never noticed that till just now. The detailing around the skull. Wow. That's crazy. I mean, you got to see the brow, the outline. I just noticed that on both of this. Wow, that's really, I mean, I always noticed the, the earrings and the studs, and but wow, <laughs> that is really cool. You always notice the earrings and the studs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Jimmy. <laughs> gotcha. Again. I love that, love that cover. <laughs> Click on the link, guys. We have so much this and so much more. And again, there's the, the logo edition. changed again. So how much is this one again, sir? 25. 25. 25. In the 25. link right there at the store. Click on the link, do some shopping, take a look around. Also, a lot of other people um, who uh, clicked on a lot of our links, they uh, they went to town. Um, wait, wait, we didn't see. Oh, my God, we did I forget this one? <gasps> oh, we didn't God. see that one yet. Oh, my God, that's right. That was just before the news announcement. This is the Joel Gomez. Joel Gomez foil. Yeah, Premium he, foil another, for vengeance. Look at this. I love, again, the jewelry, the crucifix. The, the, I, I mean, part of her costume. Like she's, she's got, got blown on there. Look no at all the crosses. <laughs> I pity the fool that messed with La Muerta. Yeah, this one's The so stars. Cool. Oh, man. Yeah, this is definitely one that, you know, needed the, uh, oh, it doesn't need it, but just so enhanced it, it, by the, uh, hall, or the um, foil enhancements. You no, know, I think um, the, uh, next time I run into Joel Gomez, I'm going to have him do a sketch cover for me. Th this is my favorite character. 
So I, I think I'm going to have to drop some bling and get an original sketch from Joel. This is chapter three in the La Muerte series. It's $25, 48-pager, nice, big, thick, square-bound book. All right. More awesomeness coming your way. This is Apocalyptic Abyss number two. This is the Paul Green premium foil cover. So this one, we had the full, full on oh, holofoil. Hollow foil. Now we bring just that one down the, uh, to show you the comparison. Yeah. Boom. Now those would be nice pieces in a collection. And again, he's got the foil right there. Let me take this out so you can see it better. The text way down at the bottom. The skull again. Really nice, nice piece. Again, there's the, the, the jewelry is enhanced. Everything mm -hmm. is just gorgeous. Even right here, right along there, those little buttons on her sleeve. Even on the side. <sighs> gorgeous, Paul Green. I, mean, I look at this stuff, you know, <laughs> five days a week and I, I know, just this can't is what get enough we, of we it. We do this for a living. We Can do you this believe for it? our jobs. And it's just like, Thank oh you my guys. God. Thank, Thank you. you everyone for supporting us. It's, it's, uh, we yeah. have a lot of fun looking at books. <laughs> and it's always fun when Brian brings out, his, when he teases us with some of the newest art for, uh, you know, new editions or whatnot. It's like, yeah. I geek out every day here at work. It's fun. Now this one kind of blew me away because I forgot about this image. This is great. This is a classic. J. Scott Campbell, mm -hmm. yeah. Lady Death, Chaos Rules. Yeah, consistent J. Scott Campbell. This one Gorgeous. consistently sells. This is his artwork is just. One thing I really like Campbell. about this is I love the bell bottoms. Oh yeah, I just dig that. It's like man, she's gonna go to a disco and then slay some demons afterwards. And I even like the little, the eye and that statue's got it. Oh, shiny. The bracelets. Again, I mean... Look at those earrings. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the belt. I mean, this is just a great piece. I'd like to see a cosplay of this. I haven't seen a cosplay of this outfit. That would be great. And I love the, the little gravings on the stained glass. Mm -hmm. and the sword. And this is the first chapter, if you guys want to know. This is... Where Lady Death comes right. This is the first chapter of the Coffin Comics series right there. And this is another direct market one that we offer at comic book shops. And you can also order it here. Beautiful piece. J. Scott Campbell. You guys aren't familiar with his stuff. Ch check out his work. His work is amazing. Um, I don't know if he does them anymore, but he used to do these great calendars uh, back in the day. It was just oh, gorgeous pieces. And again, I love the logo. Classic oh, yeah, V1 right there. There you go. Really cool stuff. I'm wondering if we're gonna if he's gonna evolve anymore. He's he's really evolved a lot over the years. Yeah, Brian Polito's like a shark. He never stays still. He's gonna keep evolving and moving and moving. He, he knows. Like when we do shows, we're always getting new banners. There's always new banners for shows. Um, <laughs> the man's insane. The man is like has so much energy. Um, my mother-in-law is like, oh god. How does he keep up with all the energy? He's so he's so excitable. <laughs> it's like, yeah, and he's like a kid in the candy store. Next, another beautiful piece, Mark Silvestri. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. This is twenty five dollars, just like the other one. This is Damnation Game number one. This is the second chapter of the Return of Lady Death. Just really nice piece. And I like, you know, our books are really, have a really nice gloss to them. Yeah, and she's eating those skull lollipops. Yep, right there. look at that. I mean, these are just beautiful, beautiful. Like Mark Silvestri you know, always knocks it out of the park. Yeah. His stuff is stunning, really stunning. This one too, This I did a uh, Foil Friday post with this image, and this one was just by far was like one of the most uh, well-received Foil Friday posts, they just, you know, folks just eat this one up. It's a, it's a beautiful piece. It is really nice. And I, I just, I just love when you can see like the pencil marks and the, the ink marks and the detailing in the hands. It's just, I really liked seeing this stuff. Oh yeah, just look at the look detail at on the, uh, with the, um, the hairline with mm -hmm. the, is that the moon, whatever behind her? It's just, it's 
Wow, the artistry is just amazing. And that's one thing we, we love to bring and present beautiful art to you guys. We have so many editions, so much stuff that is sold out. Sometimes, you know, when, when I go into the vault, I'm like, when did you do this, Brian? <laughs> And then I see how limited they were. I was like, oh my gosh, no wonder I can't see any of them anymore. <laughs> this is beautiful. Again, these come with a warning. Do not look at them in direct sunlight. You will be temporarily blinded. <laughs> but then again, isn't it worth it? Look at that. It's a gorgeous piece. $25. Damnation Gain. Lady Death. Premium Foil Edition. All right. Next up. My Chrome, my Chrome fans, $25, boom. Calling all my Chrome fans. Calling all, all my Chrome on. fans. This is Extinction Express, number one, premium of foil. Gorgeous piece. I really love the detailing on the coffin. I mean, I just noticed the angel and the demon on each side. Wow. Wow. I, I, that I mean... Like I say, looking at these books, you always find something new that you didn't see before. So this one, too, at the cons, it seemed like this foil version is the one that always sells out the most. It always seems like we never bring enough because yeah. this one sells out. This, this It really pops. Yeah, just her, the, the white, Lady Death, white skin in that red velvet mm -hmm. coffin is just like, how could he not fall in love with this I image? just noticed there's the, the sickles behind her, too. You see the handle of the sickle. Oh, yeah, and it comes up right around, popping up. Wow, that's... Yeah. I mean, that's... Like, uh, such a classic. I, I love looking at this stuff. I mean, you just always find something new. You can get lost in the art. Like, in the backgrounds, it's like the old church, old graveyard. And again, there's the, the signatures are also foiled. That's just gorgeous work. The detailing he did on this is just phenomenal. I mean, even in her outfit, I don't mean to point out the crotch, but look at all the detailing in that bikini. Holy cow. I mean, beautiful pieces. I mean, I think we used to sell this as 11 by 7 print. I mean, yeah, yeah, gorgeous. I mean, even the back cover is beautiful. Look at that blue with the nice, like, grayish blue. It's just, ah. Midnight blue. Midnight blue. Woo, $25, guys. Mm. Get them while they got them. All right. Next up. The classic. Michael Turner. The Turner. Michael yes. Turner. He was a really sweet guy. A really great artist. Um, he, God, he's passed away God, almost 15 years now, I believe. Ah, I remember... Um, forget what show is that but i remember his booth was next to us and that's um the folks around there were saying uh that he had just passed and i was right across from their booth and it was really sad to to hear so really talented artist he worked really hard um with everything he did he really did some beautiful books and he did one for us and this is this is a treat he was a really really nice guy he is sorely missed by the fans. Yeah, I always liked how the um, the lightning, the lightning, the, uh, the lightning is great. There. That's so neat. Just a beautiful piece. Oh, we got Robert saying, "Hey, hooligan!" Hey, hey, hey what's up, Robert? And we got John E. Johnny. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. Yeah, and this is so chapter great. five. So, chapter five. And this is twenty five dollars. Again, a Michael Turner premium foil cover. Beautiful piece. Beautiful. Miss that guy. Ooh, here's one of our newest ones. <laughs> this is from Ebath. Uh, no, Jim Ballant. Boom. Oh, yeah, Jim Ballant. Nightmare he Symphony, number stuff. one premium foil. I love how Death, the Grim Reaper, is presenting her, her sickle to her. Oh, yeah, he bows down. Yeah, he to bows lady down to Lady That's like, take, take it. It is yours. I like the candelabra, and I love how the candles, the flames are all hollow foil. Or the foil enhancement. Oh, I mean, yeah, foil enhancement. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful piece. The yeah, candelabras. I love Jim Ballett's work. He's he's just got like an edge to it. It's always like I remember uh, dark and edgy. Is back like, in the day when he was doing yeah, that but, Catwoman series, it was blowing up all over the place. It was really hard to keep that series in stock. 
back in my atomic days, people were always eating it up. Bow down to Bow Lady down Death. Bow down to Lady Death. Look at that. Premium foil edition, 24 pages. Sworn, look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, nice advertising. Click on those links, guys. Robert Bradford wants to know, did you get the Zilla he sent you? Yes, Robert, dude! Thank you so very much. That was the coolest thing to get. Yes, I'm actually uh, have it at home. I had to show the family what I got in the mail. And then I'm going to be putting it in my office with the rest of my Godzilla stuff. So, dude, thank you so much. That made my day. I appreciate it. I hope you saw the shout-out I did for you last week, showing it. So, dude, thank you. That was very cool. I so appreciate it very much. Again, beautiful gift. That was such a shock. I was not expecting that. But this one is uh, $25. This is Jim Ballant. Mm -mm. Gorgeous. Jim All right, here we go. Mike Diodato Jr., Nightmare Symphony 2. This is also one of our newest premium foil editions. Every time I see this, I just want to sing Devo's Whip It Good. <laughs> <laughs> Crack that whip, my friends. Crack that whip. $25. Mike Diodato Jr., beautiful piece. Matching with the There's uh, a match hollow without foil. Oh, hollow foil, premium the foils. Hollow foil version, yeah. There's not many left of this hollow foil either, guys. So definitely click on the links and pick things up because there's some of these I have under 10 copies. So once they're gone, that's it. Yeah, Ace is saying, I bet the camera does not do these covers no, justice. And they no. don't. They really don't. We no, try our best. It, it's, yeah, we really do try our best. But they're just gorgeous pieces. And that's what we like to do. We... We like to make our comic books, they're works of art, and we try to present that to you with beautiful books, beautiful art. We have so many different editions to show you guys. I mean, we really try to just go all out in everything we do for you guys. The prints, sometimes once in a blue when we do the metal prints. I mean, we just really go all out to show you guys and make sure you get good quality books and beautiful art and things you just want to hang on the wall and show everyone because they're gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, because people who get this, get this, the darker element, you know, and that's what, that's what we're all about and that's what Brian's specialty is, you know. You know, it's like I say, we do good comics for all you bad boys and girls out there. Yeah, if you get it, you get it. You and get that's it, what, you get it. That's what we love. Because it's not for everybody. It's not for everyone, and, and we, we love don't it. care. We're there for a certain audience, and if there's more people that are just getting introduced to them, come on in, come play with us. Check out our books, check out our stories, check out our art. We have so much to show you guys. We have so much to offer. Next up, I love this one, Terry Dodson. Mm -hmm. Terry Dodson. Terry what? Dodson is a sweet guy. He was one of my subscribers when I worked for Things From Another World. Really nice guy. Him and his wife, I always look forward to them coming in. Now, this one's great. I love the little skulls on her bikini top. Wee! We're going for a swim. This is Unholy Ruin number two. This is the Dotson Premium Foil Edition. It's $25. Again, really beautiful piece. And then check out, I mean, these are real comic books. There's pages, there's stories. This is a comic. Just look at some of that art. Wow, how's she gonna get out of that one? Look at that. Relax, it's coming in. Boom! Ooh, War, Angel. War Angel. Oh yeah, that's another thing I forgot to mention. Right now. War Angel comes back. If you want to remember the classic character, War Angel, she's reintroduced in the uh, unholy and the new Lady Death books. Check it. Out. This is Unholy Ruin number two. Really cool, cool, cool. I was like going making my notes. I was like, oh my god, War Angel's back in here. But again, this is the Terry Dotson Premium Foil. It's $25. Again, another great piece. I remember some of my favorite comic book artists, art I would get and covers. I'd hang them on my wall back in the day. Like I had Evil Ernie number ones. I had that all on my wall. Next up, I have only a few copies of this one as well. I'm surprised we still have this one. This one is... Jesse uh, Witchman, $25. It's another pinup book. Especially a warehouse find. Look at this. This one. This one is also crazy with detail. It's yeah, right so cool. In the top, just oh, all the great engravings. Excuse me. Get the hiccups. Beautiful piece. 
not many of those. Let me check my notes. I think I'm down to, let's see, Revelations. Yeah, I think we have um, three or four left. So yeah, sounds about right. Once we sell this, right. these are gone. This is it. Once they're um, gone, they're gone. It's $25. It's a beautiful pinup book. It's Lady Death Revelations. It's a Jesse Witcham. Next one, and I really like this, and I definitely think this is something else we should do. This is the Zodiac Lady Death Zodiac. Mm -hmm. Another fun one. Uh, Ruf Rufino? Rufino, yeah. 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 Beautiful book. Look at this. It, it's got the nice gold foil. I love how they put the foil on all the uh, energy that she's just sort of sore of the hand and she's leaping in the air and she's just going to slay you all. And just beautiful detailing on the top and along her wrist there. Just Stunning stuff. Yeah, it's cool. Like the hair's going up, mm -hmm. like the energy is... The energies. Like, she's like, she's going to super deep. saying out. <laughs> <laughs> she's just going to kamehameha all you guys to hell. Beautiful piece. Yeah. Yeah. And then this is uh, like for Zodiac. So there's a bunch of... Uh, shows you an art for the Aquarius. And gives you a description of the Aquarius sign. Yeah, so this is some really gorgeous Zodiacs, art. Right? Yeah, it's got all 12. It's a 24-page book. Just stunning work. Oh, that's a good one right there, the Aries. And these are all by uh, Nii. Taurus. I like how there's just the steam coming right off out of her nose. Like, whew, she's going to ram you <laughs> against a wall. There is no matador that can take on her. The Gemini. Beautiful. Yep, two of a kind. Two of a kind. Very beautiful piece. Very nice. Cancer. Oh, I love the claw. That is so cool. I mean, guys, yeah, I can't so get enough of this stuff. Neither can you. Like you say, we have you get uh, lost in more it. of this. Lost it. it has all 12 zodiac signs and a little description about the sign. All ours is done by uh, Nii Rufino. It's $25. Beautiful piece. Link, Beautiful art book. Link in the description. Click on that link. So we got all shop, the links, shop. yep. All the, everything we talked about today is in the link in the description. Go there. We got the store. We got the, uh, the Sworn Fest. We got uh, the Kickstarter. We've got the eBay the link. Store. We've got everything. So It's got everything. In take the your time, folks. Go to it. Check it out. Check it all out. We got a lot, of look, got a lot to look at, for sure. <laughs> yeah, our first show, a lot of people... They went and picked up the stuff they wanted, and they just, they went bonkers on everything else. This is our Ebass premium foil cover. Look at this. I love this. Eric Beautiful. Masaruda. Unholy Ruin number one. This is part one of Unholy Ruin. This is a direct market edition. 24 pages. Again, this was one of our Kickstarter's naughty editions, um, if I'm not mistaken. She was had a very see-through top and everything. I, I found one, one, and I was like, this thing is gorgeous. I even like the little detailing down in here. And again, the signature on the artist is <laughs> premium. It's all foiled out, man. Only we do it. I haven't seen that done anywhere else but here at Coffin Comics. Beautiful pieces, chrome. Okay, we got chrome. a couple minutes left. Do you, anyone have any questions? Have questions. Throw them your way out. to Julian. Julian the hooligan. Hooligan, I'm here. He's here, he's here. We got everything here. We've got, uh... all right, I'll put you on the spot. If you had to choose, which one of these is your favorite? If you had to choose, which one would it be? Whoa. If you, uh, Sophie's choice. Here we go. Right here. I just love it. I love the low rider in there. Yeah, that's a beautiful car. I love it's it's very it's got this kind of James Bondish kind of look. It's, this one I really love. I, I I think this would have to be the one I would pick. Just a beautiful piece, and this is a chapter five of uh, La Muerta. We only did one hundred and fifty of these bad boys. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. That's one nice. of my favorites, right there. Truly, good choice, good choice. Thank you, thank you. I'm here all week. Um, probably my second one would be the Hellwitch. 
that one is really just dramatic. It's very beautiful. The art just really pops nicely on that. That is true. Yeah, there's a lot of spacing. There's, there's a, a lot of the holofoil back there. In the yeah, room. and I love the bats just beautifully set in the background coming at you and the hell witch symbol. But anyways, guys, it's, it's, this is our fourth show. I want to thank everyone who's been watching these. Um, we appreciate uh, all the questions you guys have been sending at inquiries at coffincomics.com. Um, again, click on the links. We got a lot going on for you guys this weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, maybe <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> if we're not hungover, we're going to turn lemons into lemonade and we're going to do... Coffin Comics. Coffin Comics. Con. Con. Online. online. There it is. Oh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely, guys, it. click on those links. Join us. We Go to our Facebook you. page. We want you to join us in all the fun. It's going to be 10 to 5 on those days. And it's going to be a blast. We've got a lot of cool stuff. And oh my gosh, I can't wait to what, see what we got out of the vault for you guys. <laughs> so... Thank you again, everybody, for watching. Do we still have some time left? That's about it. We're Thank good. you very much, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next Monday or Coffin Comics Con Online. Thank you. <laughs> have a good night. Bye.